Agora TV. The world is thinking. And so what happened since 1999 is that poisoning deaths have doubled in the United States. And opioid analgesic, these pain, narcotic pain medicine related deaths are the fastest increasing. So they shot up from 4,000 to almost 14,000 just in seven years. And that's a pretty remarkable number. And 40% of all poisoning deaths are now because of these opioid medications. And it's just, um, it's just really interesting to see how this trend happened. So if we break it down by the type of opioid, so we see methadone is that orange line. And methadone had the steepest, fastest rate of rise. And a lot of people, um, before methadone only used to be used for people undergoing heroin withdrawal and long-term heroin abstinence treatment. Something happened in the year 2000. You can see the lines were pretty flat. And then in the year 2000, the Joint Commission that regulates all of, basically all of what goes on in hospitals, all the rules and regulations we who work at hospitals have to follow, they released a mandate saying that people need to start treating pain. And I firmly believe that pain needs to be treated. I mean, I do not want any patients suffering. I hate seeing people in pain. And and what they said was, you know what? People need to stop ignoring pain and need to start treating it. And that's great. But at the same time, people started prescribing a lot more narcotics than they used to. And so as physicians started to prescribe more narcotics, pretty much at the same time, we started seeing more deaths due to narcotic overdoses. And so methadone is striking because it used to be only used for heroin abstinence. And now it's really being used a lot more in chronic pain management and, um, and basically in pain that you can't control. Methadone is just being prescribed way more often. Unfortunately, it's also a drug that lasts a really long time in the system and takes a long time to kick in. And so people may not know how much they're taking. And so one of the theories is that this, these properties, these pharmaceutical properties of methadone have led to a lot more deaths. But as you can see, it kind of applies to the category that says other opioids, the red line. And those are the medications like Vicodin and Percocet and Darvacet um, that, that I'm sure you guys have heard of. And unfortunately, this rise in deaths applied across the board to most adult age groups. So pretty much from the ages of 15 to 64, we saw an increase in the number of deaths. And so it's not something that's just relegated, let's say, to teenagers or to the really elderly population. It's pretty much across the board.